Hello, this is Sonia from my Happy Space. Welcome back at my channel. I'm going to do my last entry for the big story too. I've done two entries in my first one and now I'm doing my second entry. So yet again, what I've done, I'm just showing you um, my little junk journal envelope style which I've made. I've got a video to exactly how I made it. I will link it up here. And then for my second story, I did it a little bit simpler because I didn't have enough space to put two junk journals in there. What I've done, I've made pockets inside my travels notebook and I've done all my journaling, mostly of my journaling on there. So in the first bit, we looked at some typology and we looked at um, that Jesus is the mediator and high priest as it was in the Old Testament. But today I'm going to focus on the typology God's kingdom and that that's a theme that comes through from the Old Testament and it runs through to the New Testament. And I've done lots of journaling and my idea is I would like to compare the two kingdoms which the Jewish people were expecting and which was also prophesied in the Old Testament with the kingdom of God which Jesus spoke to especially in Matthew and with the um, Beatitudes and the blessed are the poor and um, he's talking about the kingdom so it's two total different kingdoms. Now I, my four main points which I took from this devotion was the typology Jesus is my high priest, Jesus is my mediator, the kingdom of heaven and the last bit was all about our forever home revelations, which I'm not going to um, journal about um, because I just chose sort of the one thing that really stood out for me. So you can see this crown I've got here. So what I want to do is I want to create this quilt and um, background um, with these beautiful papers. They're from Amy Delight. She's got an Etsy shop. I will link it also down below here. Um, she's got these papers. I bought it a while ago and I've used it for some other projects, but I thought it would be perfect. I would love to have a quilt like that. So I'm going to make a big quilt and then I'm going to take that crown and I'm going to also patch it. So this is my inspiration, that little quilt there with the sort of the rectangles, which is cut in um, a triangle. So what I'm going to do is I've just used any template, a little card I had, and I use it as a template to cut rectangles from these two pattern papers and then I'm going to create a pattern like it was on that little journaling card which I showed you which is my inspiration. Now I'm just playing around a little with these triangles just to build the puzzle and um, it was a bit more difficult than I thought as I said I'm just showing you my inspiration again and I'm going to put that crown on top of it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these um, piece of paper because I want to build my crown on top of that because I want to do a tip in so I can do my journaling inside my Bible because as I said I would like to compare the two kingdoms the Jewish people as you know they expected a certain king and then I look at three passages in the Old Testament that sort of pointed to this type of king they had in their mind. Now there's many passages in the Old Testament also that showed that he was not going to be this conquering king, that he was going to die for us, that um that he was not um no desire for us to look upon him, that he was humble. But obviously they pushed that outside of their mind and they was looking for this emperor or this king to come and rescue them um, and I'm just looked at, at Psalm 47 verse 3 to 4 um, in the meantime as you said I'm just putting the puzzle together here on, on the screen so Psalm says 47 says it, it talked about a great king over all the earth and it will subdue people under his feet so it's very much a, a, a king that's going to conquer Isaiah 51 verse 4 to 5 says um, is it's his arm is giving justice to the nations and Micah said he's going to be a ruler over Israel and Daniel 2 verse 44 said he will cross all the kingdoms and bring them to an end. So it's very much about this kingdom that's going to reign and especially they was looking for somebody like that being oppressed by the Roman Empire. Um, in the meantime, as you see, I've done the little quilt and I cut the access papers off. And now I'm using this little punch, which is actually a, a stamp punch, a small stamp punch. But that was the closest I've got sort of to a rectangular, which I thought would look very well fit easier in this crown. So I'm just using some of the other pattern papers. I was trying not to use the same pattern papers so the crown can stand out at the end um at the end i had to sort of highlight the crown with a pink uh, marker just to just to bring it out a little bit i probably should have in hindsight used a total different pattern paper um but yeah i, I think it turned out anyway i'm um, good at the end so what i'm doing is i'm also just filling this crown in with these small little rectangles um 
and then I'm also just going to cut the axis off at the end. Okay, now I just would like to look at the other side of how Jesus described the kingdom of heaven when he came down to earth. And I'm first going to look at um, all the passages, mostly all the passages in Matthew. Matthew 5 verse 3 it says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And then Matthew 5 verse 10, Blessed are those who are persecuted for, righteous, for righteousness sake. And um, to them the kingdom of heaven belongs. And um, Matthew 4 verse 17, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So it's a total different picture than in the Old Testament um, comparing to this conquering king. Obviously that was prophesied when Jesus come back after the end of the earth and he's setting up the millennium kingdom. That's when he's going to be this conquering king. And But they expected obviously here on earth. Um, and now Jesus telling them the total different. If you're poor and you're persecuted and you need to repent from your sin, this almost pathetic picture, which I think the Jewish people was just not prepared for. They wanted to have a king and a conqueror that can conquer them or rescue them from the Roman oppression. They were looking out for Messiah and they were excited. At one stage they were very excited about Jesus. He might be the one, but then they were bitterly disappointed when he died on the cross, this cruel, very humiliated type of death, um, which just was meant for Roman people. So yeah, they were very disappointed. Now I was some some I was thinking sometimes we think or we have an image of God in our minds. And when God doesn't lift you up that expectation, we are disappointed. But God doesn't have to answer to us. And we need to study the word of God to get to know his character. So we can't confuse or doesn't confuse God with who he really is. And now I'm going to put my journaling on my page. I've got this stamp block, which I was desperate to use. And I'm just using some distress oxide ink. Um, I think the dusky, dusty blue. Um, and I'm just going to do this journaling spot where I'm going to put my journaling in. Didn't come out very well, especially the first one, because there was too much bulk under my, um, underneath my Bible with all the entries. So I'm just getting my notes out. So I'm going to do my journaling. Okay, I've done that off camera. I've it's my crown with some cookie just to make it pop out. And then I'm just going to do this tip in with some washi tape. I've sort of connected them both sides. So it just can be a flip um, in or flip out. So I can, as I said, my journaling is underneath. I'm just using some alpha stickers or stamps just to put kingdom of heaven on there. Because obviously that is what stood out for me. And that is the, the comparison with this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this entry. I enjoyed really very much making this beautiful quilt. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'd love to have you on board. I'm going to leave you with some close-up photos. Um, I've made some faux stitching at the end just to make it look a little bit more like a quilt. Um, so yeah, I thought that turned out very nicely. And if you're interested, I forgot to say I was journaling in Matthew 4 verse 17. We Jesus say, repent because the kingdom of heaven is near. So that's the passage where I've um, done my entry. You must have a great day. Thanks for watching. I do really appreciate it. Lots of love. Bye-bye.